You've probably used reprinted sources before and didn't even know it. In an example of a book like this, if you look at the table of contents, you'll be able to tell pretty quickly that each chapter is written by a different author. But you can't tell if it's reprinted unless you actually flip to the chapter and find at the bottom the reprinted source information. Similarly, in a book like this, again, in the table of contents, you can tell that each chapter is written by a different author, but you can't tell if it's reprinted unless you actually flip to the chapter and check around for a note, and there you have a note saying that it was originally in a book. So in our literary criticism books, some of the chapters are original, but some are reprinted. So again, from our table of contents, we can see that each chapter has a different author, and we flip to the first one, you've got the title, you don't see any notes here, when you get to the end of the chapter, there's also no notes. So you can assume that this was written originally for this book, and you just cite it as a chapter in a book. But for another example, when you open that up, it looks just the same. There's no notes at the beginning, but when you flip to the end, there's actually a small note in italics that tells you that it originally came from a journal. So this one is a reprint, and you have to cite it that way.